and rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bromance Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading and what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber soul family, it's good to have you back. Here's a little bit of Paolo Santo for you and a bit for me. Please know that my readings are timeless and collective, meaning I can be picking up on past, present or future. And there's a lot of people that I'm picking up on. A lot of energies. Some may resonate, some may not. If it doesn't resonate for you, it's okay. You don't have to claim it. Um, because what doesn't resonate for you will resonate for someone else. Yeah. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you wish to assign a gender. You can if you want to. You can swap them around or you can leave them as they are. Um, if anything comes up in the areas of law, finance, um, mental health, physical health, anything that really resonates with the story of what's happening for you at present or has happened to you, please ensure that you are taking the advice of uh, someone who's who is qualified in that area before taking any advice from me because I do not claim to be a professional. I'm just a channel. Please use your discernment and let's crack on with it, shall we? Um, I don't make the story fit if it doesn't. If it doesn't, it just doesn't. Um, this is my latest L. Um, this is just so I can cleanse the air for me and for you. If you have any type of sensitivity to loud noises, please turn down your volume now. And I'm not wearing my glasses because... Um, you know the little bits that sit on your nose that you can move? I've moved it too far and I know if I move it again it's going to snap off and I need to have it um, fixed so I'm going without. Someone may be feeling stuck in the back. I've got that song, I do not know who sings it, it's, I think it's an 80s song. Run away from you, run, 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 it's all that I can do, run, 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 run away from you. That's all I know of it and it's been playing over in my head. And someone is heartbroken though because they feel like they've been stabbed, stabbed in the back. They feel like there's been some sort of um, mm -hmm. deception. There's been some sort of shocking attack for them. And as I say that, I just got a little buzz on my phone. And then this side over here, we have um, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. But it's upside down. Whoever this person is, they've, either, they've been blocked. They've been blocked or they're not, they're not able to... Um, they're not able to stalk someone, they can't watch someone, they feel like maybe you have deceived them, or they've been deceived by who? Who is this person? Please let me know if you can hear me well enough as well, because some people were saying it was quite, um, the last reading was low. Um, it says here, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Oh, and you've got separation coming out. This is somebody that you have left behind. Someone who... Um, I feel like for someone here, there was a lot of um, distance for someone while still in a relationship or the ending was, it was expected, I heard, for someone. And there's that song, what's that song um, by the script? When a heart breaks and it doesn't break even. No, I don't break even. What am I supposed to do when I'm all messed up? I don't remember the rest of it. And fall into pieces. There's someone here that is looking at um, someone in the collective walking away and kind of just like being okay. Or they that's their perception. Their perception is that the person who's doing the dumping has walked away and just c continues living their life happily. And I feel like they're not realizing that there was so much distance or there was something here that had set in the mind of someone in the collective that this isn't working. We have tried. And now I'm going to self-heal. Now I'm going to pour into myself. I'm not going to go out and poop myself into a stupor. I'm not going to go out and sleep with loads of different people to try and numb the pain. I'm actually going to sit with it and I'm going to heal myself. And this person is just seeing you or someone in the collective receiving what you need. Having progression, something arriving for you, you moving on and, and kind of working through closure issues. From a separation, from sadness, this person is missing you and thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Run, 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 run away from you. This person may be wishing that they didn't run away from you, either that's emotionally or physically. You've also got heart with a key. Welcoming love is in reverse. Meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect, and it's upside down. And then you've got sudden change. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation, because this person hasn't changed. There's something about this person not changing, or maybe you giving this person so many tries, or so many attempts, like... I'll take you back again. Okay, but we need to work on this. Yeah, 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 we'll work on this, we'll work on this. And then they don't work on it. And you've got the chaser in reverse. Someone stopped chasing. 
chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. I don't know if this is you or if this is them. Because someone may have been the one that was, and this has come up in my readings before, been the overnatural, the one that does everything. So the other person sat back and did nothing. But you're not chasing them anymore. And you've got, I like you. I like you's coming out and keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional string along and one night stand, but it's upside down. This person is used to people chasing them or people needing them in some way. And they're feeling stuck in the back. There's heartbreak or pain here because either you've walked away or you're not interested in playing those games or someone here is not interested in playing these games and it's made this person like you more, but they're still, they feel, I don't know if it's their ego that's been hurt or their heart that's been hurt. Because it says someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. And then you've got the chaser. So this person doesn't want to be in those type of relationships anymore. They don't want the cat and mouse. They want to settle down, but they're still... I don't know what's going on here with this person feeling like their ego's been hurt or something. Tell me, why do they feel like this? Why do they feel like this? Because every other relationship that they've had has been very toxic. And maybe the relationship that you had with this person was toxic or it was filled with insecure or some insecurities or something because you've got unconditional love in reverse self-love oneness passion affection and attraction so there's someone here who breadcrumbed if this is an ex-partner this can be someone from a long time ago i don't know but there was this energy of breadcrumbing there's with the keys on the ring coming out that's somebody who has multiple partners or sleeps with lots of different people could go out partying and take a different person home every night um because look it's here again keys on the ring is upside down they want to stop doing this they don't want to have loads of different options unconventional string along one night stand so at some point this is maybe that may have been their forte that's what they did that's how they got intimacy because they weren't looking for intimacy they were looking for escape i heard and that's why that song's coming out that run 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 running away running away running away and they've got axe upside down and you've got soulmate and you've got phoenix this is somebody from someone's past or well, this is somebody from a, a, um, an old cycle, old karmic cycle. Acts being upside down, they're still attached in some way, they're trying to attach. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment, and it's upside down. So this person is, tr maybe they're trying to change their behaviours, but they're stuck on something. Soul connection, partnership agreement and soul contract. This may be the same person that has, they had a soul contract and they did not learn what they needed to learn in that contract but they're not willing to let go but this contract's been burnt this contract's not here anymore it's been removed and this person doesn't feel like they can move on to a new phase they know that they don't that someone here doesn't want to rekindle something but they're trying to change someone's mind they want to change someone's mind with this okay. one or two one and then two okay. oh two first let's have a look Pandora's box. Oh, what a mess. They're in a mess of some sort. They're definitely in a mess of some sort. Soul ties upside down. Yeah, because something's been, it's been removed. Special recipe. Oh, this is all to do with um, bad juju and negative, negative volatile um, spell work to hurt or harm or to kind of trap someone or control someone. I don't know what's going on with this purple over here. Because this is not violet and I feel like there is like a, a false violet flame or a, a false who is this feminine energy who is Pandora who's doing this special recipe let's see what's going on with that Pandora and the special recipe please and can we get some clarity clarity dead peacock is upside down special recipes coming out again Pandora's box is coming out again anything else drinks of pain and it's upside down someone's trying not to drink they're trying not to drink and you have um unfinished upside down so it's like this person um i think they don't wish to be in an old karmic cycle they wish to be on the same timeline as someone here and not where they are this dead peacock i can't remember what the dead peacock means but when you think of a peacock they are very extravagant they are very you know they're very showy and when you see the female peacocks compared to the male ones, it's it's the same as when you see certain ducks who look really, really jazzy. And then you see the female ones and they're all brown. There was something here about showboating. 
and that being upside down i don't know if this person has decided to stop doing so or they're changing tactics special recipe though is this a glamour spell i heard your eyes for them or their eyes for you there was something that was done to um but it stopped something stopped something's not working anymore let me pop this one over here a cycle has been finished for someone in the collective and it's removed um a really large i heard like shard a large shard or fragment of some sort of trauma because it's my belief it's not you know it's not it's only opinion it's not true it's not fact that um soul fragmentation happens when we have something really traumatic happen in our life and we don't know how to hold that or hold space for it because it's so traumatic for us that we leave it in that timeline it's almost like when people push down their emotions when there's something that happens and it happens to children it happens to teenagers it happens to us when we're young when we're you know and you will leave it in that timeline you'll leave it when it happened and then you kind of just cover it over with sand and go well it didn't happen over there what well, part of your soul is in left in fragments over there and it's still there and that wound is still there and until that fragment is brought back and given to your over soul given to your you know your magnetic self your i am presence um, to then be reintegrated back into your body so that you can feel the feels that you need to, so you can heal, so you can become stronger. And I feel like someone's already done this. This separation, this removal of this contract, more than leaving the person, it's the contract. This contract is, has ended, but it's changed things. I heard it's, it, it was slow. Someone may have felt like they were stuck. Or like not much change was happening, but it's about to change like this. Boom, boom, boom. And this person that had a soul tie or tried to have a soul tie or had this contract where they were supposed to learn and grow and you were learning and growing and they didn't fulfill their side of the contract and they were trying to bind this person, be it you or someone in the collective, to this. Now that it's been removed, this person is, it's almost like they are bound by this energy, by this special recipe and Pandora's box is about to open. It's about to open. I'm going to put this here. There's something about shame or hate or I want more. Tell me more about the Pandora's box. What's about to come out? Because this contract has been closed. Because it's been finished. Bandages, healing, dreams, broken, broken dreams, ancestors upside down. Wow. The pleading man someone's ancestors walked away they walked away this person that this was a test for them whoever this is for you in the past somebody who may have tried to bind someone's heart space especially with this special recipe being over here because that keys on the ring in reverse this was a love spell but it wasn't i don't feel like it was genuine I feel like this is more to do with control. And that's why I was getting with that box. There was something about controlling or boxing someone in. And this was a test for them. Their ancestors had set them up for a test and they failed it. They literally failed it and their ancestors don't come to them in their dreams anymore. Or they've removed themselves. I don't know if this person is clairsentient or this person... Um, there was something they had to learn when it came to their emotions and expressing their emotions. And how to ground themselves. And they didn't do it. They didn't. The last laugh is upside down. They thought they got the last laugh in something. But the, what is it with Pandora's box? Because what's happening for someone in the collective now? Those who have gone through that separation. And this separation isn't just physical, like I said. It's to do with this contract, this soul contract of light. That when we came into corporeal, before we came into corporeal form, we've gone with this person over here or this soul over here. We need to figure some stuff out because the last life we had we didn't really get to learn all the things we needed to learn and should we do it again and they're like yeah that's a really good idea once we've done that though contract's finished awesome you you did that or someone in the collective has already learned that and this is what is coming from this is healing it's actually healing it's healing some sort of um i kept hearing boundaries but it's that shard someone's soul fragmentation is being reintegrated and they're being taught how to take care of themselves and I'm not saying that, you know, if you're watching this, you don't take care of yourselves. But there are so many layers to our trauma and to our life experiences. 
that sometimes certain things, like I had an epiphany. Um, I had an argument with my mum, not a big one, but afterwards I went to buy her something and I didn't realise I was doing that to appease her. And she was like, I don't want that, I don't want you appeasing me. And I was like, you're right, I should not be appeasing you. And I sat and thought about it and I look at my childhood and how I used to do that because I was the over nurturer. And I would all, even if I wasn't in the wrong, I'd want to negotiate and kind of calm everything down so everyone would talk again or that someone would talk to me again. And this is what I mean by, I didn't even realise I did that. I take care of myself, I pour love into myself, but it's divinely timed that each of us is getting to the end of this cycle and peeling off another layer of that onion that is life, that is, you know, hurt, that is love. And actually seeing some of these kind of... Um, really embedded behaviors that we have when it comes to romance when it comes to our families when it comes to friendships and this is also a blessing this is a present that the universe has given because that test wasn't just for this person who oh, spectacularly failed it was also for us and we passed it and this person so while while we are getting this while we're getting a, a bigger perspective or a wider perspective on how we nurture ourselves first and how we look at certain ingrained behaviours from childhood and how those um, kind of affect, like a ripple effect, onto people that we love, that we know, that we work with, that we chill with. They have got the opposite. They've got Pandora's box opening. They've flipping got Pandora's box opening. And Pandora's box, um, I, I vaguely remember the story of this, but Pandora was not supposed to open that box. It was supposed to stay closed. And every year... She wanted to open it and she went against, I can't remember if it was her father or Zeus. I think it was Zeus because Pandora was made out of clay, wasn't she? Like Zeus wanted to have this companion and made her out of clay. Um, and when it was opened, it was so many lost souls. Like who gives that as a present to someone? That's just weird, right? Anyway, this Pandora's box for whoever this person is for you in the past, part of what is being opened is not just to do with the spiritual, not to do with like karma course there's that and there's negative juju and there's weird shit going on excuse my language but they're also up opening up a, um, a box that they've held their emotions down in where they haven't allowed themselves to feel and now they do and they don't know how to deal with that because they've never navigated that before because you've got i like you and the chaser in reverse this is somebody who is now realizing that they don't want to play silly games anymore they want to grow up they want to have a wife or a husband or a he she they that they have for the rest of their life they no longer want a bed hop and i think that's part of like that's part of their karma is that whoever it is that they want they can't have because they didn't treat them well now i want to know more because dreams and ancestors someone's ancestors have walk, walked away from them they've walked away from them and dreams is upside down so there's something they will never attain friendship request is upside down i feel like someone is completely blocked completely blocked and i was getting that from the start that someone is heartbroken that either you've blocked them on social media and the only way that they can kind of find out about you or someone in the collective is through third party kind of like if let's say for example you're on instagram you've got a main female coming out here um and number two so this is a high priest a high priestess but for example say you've got instagram and high honor so i get distracted really easily Say you're on Instagram and you've blocked this person years ago. They may still have a mutual friend or a mutual friend of a friend. And the only way that they can see how you're doing and if you're all right and if you're bossing up and blah, 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 is by going through all of those other profiles to come and have a look at yours. Seriously. And someone's doing this and they are gutted that you're doing so well. And it's pulling me back to that song by Labyrinth, that Jealous. And I always use it because it's such a raw song. It's so beautifully done. Um... There's something here about the games that they played to get people to chase them. So they were always being chased. They were always being chased. And you aren't doing this. Or well, I don't know if you ghosted them, they ghosted you. But there is definitely a line drawn in the sand where it's like enough is enough. That's old behaviour. That's not behaviour that I want to take with me. Or that's old frequency. That's old energy. And I know I can't take that with me. And I don't want to. And that's why this person is it's almost like they're on a different timeline. They're almost they're on a different timeline. And you've got main female and higher honor and change with gift. X 
expectation. This is not so they're going to send some sort of gift and it's not going to be expected, but it's to stop something. It's to stop someone from moving forward. I don't know if it's going to come from them though, because you've got a mature woman coming out. So there's a mature woman who may be sending something to stop, to stop a change or to stop something. Do you know what's been coming out in my readings a lot? Is there is someone here who is adamant that their man, their woman, their he, she, they has left them because this their ex is coming towards someone in the collective and that there's going to be this union. Now, I've seen in lots of other readings of people talking about, well, this is your twin flame and blah, blah, blah. One, twin flames are very rare. And two, if your twin flame would do all of this F3 to you, no, that's not it. That's not it, any way, shape or form. This is a false twin flame. This is somebody who had a, to a soul tie. They may have had past lives. And you've got to think in past lives, they could have been a brother or a sister or a mother. They could have been a lover. They could have been the person that lived in the mountains and you went over there to buy goats. I don't know. But... There have been lifetimes before with this person, but they're not a twin flame. They're not a twin flame. This is somebody who wishes to mask themselves as a twin flame. And that's why you've got that special recipe card coming out. Because the way that I put this down is you've got a special recipe card. So that is the one with the poppet. And then you have keys on the ring upside down. They're using glamour magic. Because even if they have changed their minds and they've opened up this Pandora's box of, oh my gosh, I have actual deep feelings and I've been scared my whole life to actually open up and be vulnerable and now i'm doing this but just in case this person isn't you know open to that let me send some mad juju towards them let me let me do a pop it or go to someone who can do a pop it so they look at me as i am the person for them to settle down with what are you doing mate what are you doing who who does that who flipping does that and i was I was on TikTok um, yesterday and I love to just doom scroll and there was one that come up and it made me laugh but at the same time it's like no that's not cool. This dude, this like Hispanic guy was, um, he had his coffee, he was making his coffee and he was like you know what, he was like Hispanic women are crazy. I was like why? And like I'm talking to the screen like you can actually hear me and um, he said maybe my wife didn't realise that the coffee grounds were getting low and he opens it and there's a pair of her flipping knickers in there. I'm assuming they're clean, but I'm assuming they've been rubbed on her, so they've got her smell, and it's been put in the coffee. And he was like, I don't believe in witchcraft, I don't believe in magic, and ta 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 And he was like, and he went through all of this, and then went, yeah, but the coffee's, the coffee tastes really good. And everyone underneath was like, that is literally a little bit of, that's binding, that's a binding spell. Rubbing that and putting it in the coffee, so he's only tasting her. He's literally only tasting her. And that, the only reason I digress and tell you about that it's because that's what I'm getting from this special recipe. Special recipe. What it? This is a special recipe. This person hasn't just made a pop it. They've they've baked something, or they've they've made something with their own pheromones, or their own smell, or their own something in it. They've done some sort of weird binding or love binding. They tried to, and it broke when you've done whatever you did, whatever you've been healing, whatever you have been having epiphanies about, or, you know, like I was talking about figuring out that I was a people pleaser. Why am I people pleasing people who are being rude to me? I love my mom, but, but um, having those little epiphanies, this is stopping a cycle of dysfunction continuing through our generations because this is all generational trauma this is all passed down and being the person that breaks that link that weak link that link that needs to be thrown in the trash anyway that that was that was the test and something already this been removed this contract's gone and when this contract was gone whatever this person was doing all it did was open up their eyes to how much they've been running from themselves how they've been running from anything meaningful meaningful but i also feel like there's something in the ethers that's gone wrong because that purple is not a bright beautiful purple that's not the violet flame that's something else and we need to figure out what it is with this special recipe what happened what happened because you do have a mature woman here um who wishes to send an unexpected gift to a main female and the thing is i say female but i'm talking about feminine energy because high priest to high priestess and number two who's of high honor someone who's been doing their healing their shadow work who's been taking their time to kind of put themselves first 
And this person, look, they're a gifter. They're someone who's going to give something. They're, I don't know if their name is Rose. They maybe give you new flowers. Um, I keep hearing, don't touch it. Don't touch it. We're going to be putting... And this is what came out in my last reading. Something about mental magic. Using mental magic or trying to affect the uh, mental bodies, the higher and lower mental bodies that we hold. We have etheric bodies around us. You have your emotion, your physical body, your emotional body, which is just above that and kind of permeates into your um, physical body. And then you have your mental body, the higher and lower. The higher is the higher vibrational energies and thoughts that we have about others and ourselves. And the lower is more to do with, the, with fear. It's fear and it's that overcritical thinking. And that's what they're trying to do for some reason why 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 what are they sending to try and stop some sort of change to try and stop some sort of healing because there is definitely sudden wealth coming for someone because it, it's all betting on this mature woman this mature woman is connected to some sort of dodgy communi community and this money is supposed to be going to them interesting interesting yeah, there's definitely something that has been healed and reintegrated. And because of that, this contract is done. This contract is done. Forbidden Fruits came out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show any of this, actually, because it's quite saucy. All right, so she's got a bra at the top, but then she's got an apple where her, her nunny is. Okay. Pandora's box. Yeah, this pad. Okay. So this Pandora's box is opening up more than just their emotions towards someone in the collective. It's also their emotions towards um, what they see as forbidden fruit. Because for some people, it may be realising that they're bisexual. It may be realising that they're gay. It may be realising that they are pansexual or allosexual or whatever that may be. And this is something that's always been seen as forbidden fruit because of this community that they are part of. Because I feel like this mature woman knows whoever this person is for you in the past, whoever you've separated from. They're either family or friends or churchgoers or temple goers or something like that. Yeah, because you've also got lovers coming out again. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to keep out this mature woman one. You can go over there. If I take them all out, there's going to be nothing left on the... There's going to be no space left on the table. Ooh, mature woman with this gift next to Pandora's box. What's about to hit the fan? This is about, to, there's something's about to go down. Something's about to go down. It's going to be explosive. Let me put you there. Something's about to be explosive. Explosive. What's about to be explosive? Because now that you've healed something, it, they weren't expecting this. Or this, this person who was trying to um, bind someone, they weren't expecting this because it says take care of yourself and my life is sweet and it's upside down. Ish is about to hit the fan for them because you chose. Because it says here you must choose, right? Someone already chose themselves. They chose to heal. They chose to look after themselves, this main female, this main feminine energy. Especially in times of turmoil and times of like um, I had utter despair. They put themselves first. They started grounding themselves. And this was all, there were all these things within this contract. It wasn't just kind of like, me and you must learn how to heal from each other. So you sign here, you sign there. There were specific clauses. There were specific goals. There were specific things that each party had to learn for them to be able to go, okay, I've now finished this part of my contract. I can move on to my next project. You've already done this. You've already done this. That's done. You've done. You've gone through every single pointer. Every single pointer, as small as you know, looking at um, the different layers within your mental health, and also how you react to certain things. Because you can always tell if a trigger is still there or a, or a wound is still there. It's because when someone tries to trigger it or someone does, it's how you react to it. Um, for example, I um, in the past didn't even want to hear one of my ex's names. I thought he was such a dick. Um, I I learned to walk again about five years ago. I popped a load of discs in my back and I hadn't seen my then boyfriend for a while. And I called him and asked him to come down and he refused to. And we ended up having this weird argument conversation 
remember I'm dope up doped up on morphine I can just about think properly and he got me to dump him over the phone while the doctors weren't sure if I'd be able to walk again they um, thought I had equia cordia so they kept me in longer and equia cordia is where the nerves um, that come that produce that protrude out of your um, your spine whether they wrap around if they wrap too tightly you are paralyzed from the legs downwards and I had to I had to learn to walk again on a Zimmer frame then on crutches it took flipping ages and I was on so many different um, medications and painkillers and I had liquid morphine and it was it was crazy. It was a wild time in my life and I held a lot of, um, I don't know why I'm sharing this but spirit wants me to, I held a lot of animosity towards that person because they wouldn't come down and see if I was alright and they actually got me to do A, B and C but looking back it was all supposed to happen like that and now when I hear that person's name there is no trigger, there's none whatsoever. You know, I hope this person um, has a healing journey, that they're happy, that they ground and that, you know, whatever part of the contract that was supposed to be between us, they've learned, you know, and that's what's happening here. Because whatever the clause and contra clauses within and like the little things that you were supposed to tick off, that's part of it. It's how you react to certain wounds um, when you're not feeling the greatest. And someone here has matured, someone is mature AF when it comes to their emotions. And I'm so proud of you if that resonates with you. Because sometimes life is flipping hard. Sometimes life is hard and all you want to do is punch it in the face. And part of this contract with this person was not wanting to do that. But you can't force someone else to heal. You can't, it's like you can take a horse to water but you can't make it drink. It has to be of its own accord. This has to happen naturally. And it did. You chose, you chose yourself. And because you chose yourself, and there was this person over here, rather than looking at their side of the contract and going, this is what I've got to learn, I have to grow up, they were sending stupid um, love spells, stupidness. And all that's happened now is that they're realizing that they have failed this test. They failed this test. They failed it, and their life is falling to crap. Now, I want to know about this mature woman because this mature woman is right next to Pandora's box and special recipe. So this person was either guiding um, someone from your past in how to do this and how to F up someone's life, right? How to unground someone with that one because it says the time has come, the time is the time to act is now. And it says um, a very long name, Quiz, Quit, Quetzalcoatl and the Priestess of Time and it's upside down. They're trying to pause something. It's almost like when someone goes, pause, like stop for a second. That's what I'm getting here. Whatever this gift is, is supposed to block someone's movement, their energetic movement. It could be physically your movement, your mental um, expansion and healing. And these bandages over here, healing your heart, taking your time. And what is this gift? Because it looks properly shiny. It looks super shiny, right? It's all gold and shiny, but what's inside? Literally what's inside is Pandora's box. Oh, so something was thwarted. This person wasn't able to send something in time. They didn't have enough time to send something. Okay, so what was the gift? What was the gift? Page of Michael, it was a lie or it was an illusion. There's some sort of illusion spell that was wrapped up around it. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So even though we're being shown a physical gift, this would have been like a job opportunity. Or this was like um, connecting with somebody and seeing it as being, um, I've won the jackpot. This job is amazing. I'm going to be able to work with all of these like-minded people. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And it turns out they were trying to set you up or set someone up here for a fall. Because this is lies. This is absolute flipping lies. Anything else that you need to know? Wisdom is light as a feather. Someone would have purposely lied and omitted some sort of truth. Because if you look at my previous readings, like recent ones, it's talking about setting someone up for a fall. To take the fall for a massive and really weird, like not very nice energy, kind of abusing vulnerables, abusing children, and trying to wrap it up in a pretty bow so that you will take the bait. But you inspire trust and confidence in other people and this complete commitment upside down. There was heed why counsel was in reverse as well. So this is someone was trying to get in here and um, steer you wrong in some way. 
they wanted to steer you wrong they were lying about their own lives this mature woman is jealous of someone here they are ridiculously jealous Keyed my council upside down I don't know why a counselor keeps coming up a counselor keeps coming up who's this counselor there's someone here who is a liar can make complete commitment it's just to change someone's mind on um who to work with mental magic i just keep hearing mental magic positive uplifting new friends an elder will teach you it's because for someone here now that you have broken this contract and it's not even that it's broken you finished your part of it that other person didn't and they started playing around with foolishness and games and whoever it is that is residing over your contracts you know be that archangel metatron be that zeus be that whoever they have looked at this contract and gone you've done all the things that you needed to you have learned everything that you needed to from the the connection to this person this is void now because this person's just playing around and being stupid they're going to need another lifetime but probably not with you they will have to have this in a different way remove it rip it throw it into the sun right this bandages this healing this you know being able to look at certain things from our childhood or our teenage years or things that were traumatic and being able to see it from a different perspective and go ah ha ha that's why i act that way oh my gosh light bulb moment it's making space for positive uplifting new friends to come in people that get you people that you don't have to explain yourself to or you don't have to defend yourself to or you don't have to have your backup with if that makes sense people that get you and you see like how prickly hedgehogs are but hedgehogs you know that I, I remember picking up a hedgehog because there were some kids that were about to roll over at the bicycle and me and my sister we were so young and my sister was like get away and picked it up with like a scarf and stuff it's not that prickly they're literally not that prickly they are you know once they get themselves up they can push it up and stuff like that they have cute little noses there is something about um someone being able to be their true self without having to have that hardened shell of hiding who they are because they're worried that they're going to be tricked or they're going to be used or they're going to be dismissed or they're just going to have someone try and dim their light this is like soul family coming in this is soul family coming in Kashuk libraries are open you guys the Kashuk libraries are open and you have an elder that will teach you look you have, an, you have someone that's going to teach you and they will show you who to trust and they will not let you Fear, they will not let fear stop them this time of helping you with your creativity with genius with writing with expression with artistic flow whoever this is whoever these news people coming in this is soul tribe this is soul flipping tribe this is amazing this is why we have whoever this mature woman is kicking themselves what was it what happened when they opened Pandora's box what actually happened to them a new world was born for you oh and they all fell on the floor and i just look straight down at the, at the card the crab and sacral chakra birthing new creation family i am sexy i'm sexy and they didn't realize that they've actually been part of this journey for someone in the collective they've actually helped them to heal and it's because of a new perspective which is coming back here it's happening for me not to me it's happening to me but it's happening for me and i'm learning and i'm letting go letting go and i'm surrendering and this person's livid they're livid because you weren't supposed to be so Columbo I heard you weren't supposed to be able to kind of read what they were doing but also you weren't supposed to be able to look within yourself and go I'm not a victim I am I am the, the high priest of high priestess I'm of high honor and I'm gonna heal myself I'm gonna love myself I'm gonna choose myself and then those who are supposed to be in my life will choose me too because we'll all be in the same vibrations they weren't expecting that and they says something is about to end for now and it's upside down time to say goodbye this is giving me proper vibes of like teenage years i knew that one was going to be underneath childhood treasures resurface your imaginary friend this is healing and you have a, a mighty shield this is healing the wounded teenager or healing it's almost like the ages of um i'm getting between like seven six seven eight until like mid-teen to like 15 16. that age that age when we're coming into puberty is so flipping awkward when you become very um self-aware when you start to fancy the opposite sex or the same sex when you start to um you know you're starting to compare yourself to 
who you see on TV, who you see your peers liking, you know, are you as pretty as your peers? Are you as handsome as your peers? Um, who out of your peers likes who? It all becomes quite awkward and uncomfortable and funny and awesome and weird. And it's just an absolute whirlwind, isn't it? And this energy for many people, I know for myself, it was flipping awkward as F. AF, I was awkward AF, I had buck teeth, I looked like ugly Betty, no joke, big backpack, had the buttons on there, I had braces, this energy, this is what someone has been asked to look into, because this, this hedgehog love with positive uplifting new friends, these are people that are going to remind you or remind someone in the collective of what's it, what it's like to be young and carefree, because they're going to accept you for who you are, because you've got to think, when you go back to a life when you were 12, your friends just were your friends. They didn't, you know, you, you rarely would find your friend who would judge you because of your religion or judge you because of the way that you looked or judged you because you had buck teeth or flat chest or whatever. Do you know what I mean? They were just your friends. And there is this energy coming in of, it might be 10 people or a circle of people who are going to accept you just for you. You do not have to put a pretense on and it's going to take someone back. It's going to transport, transport someone back to their teenage years. And there's a lot of healing that will come from this as well. And I think that's what this is with this finished cycle. That contract finishing, the new one, is being written with these new people. This is so exciting for someone. Tell me what, this is, why is this mature woman so upset though? Why are they so upset? Why were they trying to stop, stop this from coming in? Why were they trying to stop this from coming in? For what reason? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Why are they trying to stop this? Oh, oh my gosh, slippery hands. A gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. I think this has got to do with money and opportunities. Yes, it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. The perspective is upside down because they want this opportunity. They want this opportunity. I, I don't know who this mature woman is, but they want the opportunity. I don't know if they are reading or tarot readers or, and I have got a card down there, I'll pick them up. It says tarot reader on the side and you have satanic coven playing with ish they can't control, pay the price. That's the Pandora's box right there. Someone wanted your destiny or someone wanted your opportunities because I feel I heard money is to be made, you guys. Money is to be made. And I know that money is just, you know, it's a byproduct of what we have up here and here. But it's nice to hear your pocket jingle or to know that your wallet is fat, right? Um, and there's money to be made. Whatever it is, whoever these people are that are coming in is positive, uplifting new friends. A new world is born. You're going to be creating something new, fresh, exciting together. It's like a collaboration and it's a friendship and it's a soul family. And it's everything that someone was missing when they were young and they're getting it. I heard you wished hard and you were patient or someone wished hard and they were patient and they were always that that's what i mean with this take care of yourself upside down even in times of woe even in times of despair this person was still shining be that you be that the person that you're thinking of and we all fall down i'm not saying that we're not human and we don't fall down and we don't feel in despair or feel angry or feel frustrated or why is this happening to me but at some point someone was pulled out of that and was like no i'm not a victim this is happening this is happening to me, but it's happening for me. Now, what's the lesson in this? And that's what I mean, this new world. I'm really excited for someone here. If this is you, you are so deserved. You're so flipping deserved. And I'm really proud of you. This is, this is emotional and it is beautiful. Oh my goodness, whatever you guys create together, once it's all out and you've kind of like, you know, trademarked it, let me know. Let me know what's happening. I want to know about this natural woman, please. What's her angle? Ten of Michael. Oh, a situation ended. So she's looking at this main female, this person of high honour who's healing themselves. And this mature woman is wondering why this gift wasn't taken or why this gift has been, why this false gift wasn't taken by you or wasn't taken by this main female. Because it's opened Pandora's box. And you want me to look over here, walking away because someone walked away from a situation. They walked away from a situation that had really bad juju in it. And rather than, ah, here you go, look, appreciation's underneath. And then you've got throat chakra underneath as well. Instead of speaking ill of whatever that conversation was or whatever that situation was, so it could have been an ex-partner for you. 
and like I was saying, that's why I was told to share that about my ex-partner. Because at the time, I was so flipping angry with that person. And I had a lot of anger. And I wrote for like three months. Every day, I just wrote. I wrote, I wrote, I wrote. But at the bottom, I always wrote one thing I was grateful for. And by the end of those three months, I was writing more about what I was grateful for. And hoping that he had a blessed life. And, you know, I had healed and I'd learned from this, this and this. Then I was about things I was angry for. And someone here has been doing this. Because you did this, you changed, um, you changed course. You changed course. And they didn't expect this. This mature woman did not expect this. Your vibrations were too high, honey. Oh my goodness. Throat chakra. The frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression -exp and our sense of peace and balance balance like this main female energy and appreciation right i even woke up this morning and i done my gratitude list and like me and my mum, we butt heads now and again because it's a small apartment and we're in each other's pockets and it's to be expected we're both very um we're kind of ambiverts my mum's more of an introvert than anything else and i like to i love my downtime i could be by myself for a week doing not even doing this just reading a book and i'd be happy um, so living in each other's pockets, we're going to bump, you know, we're going to whatever. Um, but I still in my gratitude list gave gratitude for living here and for having a mother who puts up with my shite, you know. And this is for, for someone here doing things like this, changed your course completely, completely. So whatever it was that they were planning with this gift isn't going to happen. It literally isn't going to happen. This gift had some sort of mental magic to do with doubt to do with unworthiness to do with it's all projection coming from this mature woman and i feel like this mature woman is either the ex of your ex or the mother or they're the, mo they're the mother of your ex look at that walking away from bad juju but still holding appreciation for the lesson that it taught you come on now and this mature woman is now looking over the person in the collective, be that you or someone you're thinking of, and they can see that the situation has ended. They can see that you are finally free. They can see that new opportunities for happiness will now follow. These uplifting friends coming in and that you've put the past, you've put the past behind you. That you've put the past behind you and there is no flipping way for them to change your perspective now. There's no way for them to um, meddle with your mental mind your higher or your lower trying to do this stupid uh, special recipe to get you back with an ex and there's a reason for this why did they want you back with this ex it's, there's some sort of opportunity for finance for making money and they wanted to be there because i keep hearing the last laugh and then the song it's the final countdown dun, 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 they've got a certain amount of time to do something they owe money or they need money they need something let me show you these ones with walking away there they want you to they want it this person over here definitely wanted to um swap places with you or someone in the collective because they knew that these positive uplifting new friends were coming in these collaborators these networkers these three these free thinkers this soul family and if this person is using illusion ma magic, they wanted to pretend to be you so they could come in and get this deal. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. There's a better way, Archangel Chamuel. This is to do with your solar plexus. This is the inner child, the inner teen. That's what they were trying to tap into. They wanted to bring in that worry that I can't trust my own intuition. I've got to listen to this person. They know better than me. It was just so they could move you away, throw you in the trash and take your place. That's wild. Ask your angels for help for people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. What was I talking about with people pleasing? What was I talking about with people pleasing? They were trying to mess up someone's um, perspective on people pleasing or nurturing or over giving. And this mature woman may have wanted to come in as a mentor or a counsellor or if someone's seeing a therapist. I don't know if you change your therapists. I change my therapist. I go to therapy and I'm open to say that because it's always good to have a professional stance on anything that's happening in life and just have somebody who's going to listen and, uh, and help you navigate your own mind without actually changing it, if that makes sense. 
And this person here, I don't know if they are a therapist or a counsellor or they're somebody that people go to or they place that illusion over themselves as being that type of person. But their life has gone to ish now because of a lie. They lied about the gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. They lied about who they were. People are realising. Who's realising this? Who's realising this? You've got the five of Raphael. They've lost a lot. They've lost a lot. They may have lost clients or they've they've lost their job. Tell me about why why is this mature woman's life now not sweet? Why is that why is it gone absolutely shy for them? What's the plan what Dora's box? It's the light at the end of the tunnel, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel because they um I don't know what they've got betting on this. I don't know what's inside Pandora's box, but it's not nice. And I feel like there are so many things because when you think of the story of Pandora's box, um, and I kind of touched on it a little bit, um, I can't remember if it was Zeus or another god that created Pandora out of mud or clay or something like that because he wanted to have, you know, a beautiful companion. And every birth, he gave this to her and was like, but you must not open it. It was very beautiful, but you must not open it and you have to heed my words. And, oh, no, he wanted to have a daughter. That's right, he wanted to have a daughter and she never opened it she was always curious but she always listened to what her father said and on the day that she was to marry you know she fell in love with someone and she was to marry it was the one day she was like well this is my wedding it's my wedding day this can be the gift to me that i get to open it and when she opened it there were um it was the voices of lost souls and i don't know demonic energies and things and they all came out in a great smoke and they were swirling around and taking everything in to this pandora's box you know and all of these like um despair and deceit and things like that are all coming out and she was just she didn't know what to do she literally did not know what to do she should have heeded what her father said and there was one spirit in there that was actually a helpful spirit that had been sucked and, and trapped with the rest tell me if i'm getting this wrong um and it helped her to bring all of those energies back into the box and lock it um but i don't remember the rest of it if you guys remember it put it down in the comment section i love to learn um so whatever's in that box is not just about um you know emotions about learning to this person whoever this this person is from your past as well for this mature woman this is all to do with hidden emotions and hidden and you've got to think emotions are what co-create our reality what we think and feel and what we think is always connected to what we feel because our those bodies are so close to each other. This mature woman was wanting to mould or co-create a different life for themselves and for either their ex-partner or their child, whoever this is. But what did, what did they bet on? Because what is in that box, whatever's in that box is not just emotions. I heard it will trick you. It will trick you. And this is the reason why this person's so stressed out because y'all saw a light at the end of the tunnel. You healed something and you moved on. But listen, you've got peace. Release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God and someone did this. Someone did this and it's left this person feeling awful. What's in Pandora's box? What is the, the being or entity in Pandora's box, please? What is it? Ooh. Now it says here, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work but it's upside down it's something that you can't study i had don't look into its eyes or you can't study it i don't know if this is a gin or if this is like i don't know i don't like the energy i don't want to go too much into that but it's the same purple at the back and this is something that why it's giving me almost like yeah a gin like aladdin because the genie is a gin right it's like a genie. I don't remember what horror film I watched ages ago about um, if any of you are horror fans and you remember the film from the description I give, put the name down below and I'll kind of link to it. Someone bought this box. It was like a wooden box and I can't remember if it was supposed to be like a jewelry box and um, it was hexed or it had something attached to it. And I don't know if it went into the, the little boy first and then the dad was trying to save the boy. At the end, you see them in like um, a shower room and the box is open and this thing has come out and it's gone into the, it went into the boy first and it went into the dad. But when you see it on its own, it looks literally like the girl from, from um, the ring, but just more muscly. Ugh. That's the energy I'm getting. This is a trickster energy because underneath that, you've also got the king of Ariel. 
successful, stable, accomplished and powerful. Your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So this is what gave them finance or gave them something, gave them money, gave them opportunity, but it was through um, baiting other people, baiting other people. And then you have um, Six of Gabriel, congratulations, you've done a, a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next projects, awards, scholarships and promotions. Now I was talking about moving on to another project when talking about like contracts and when we finish them and how we then um, move on to the next contract that we might have or the next kind of soul tie that we have. So this purse, this energy, whatever's in Pandora's box, was helping them to um, bind or change contracts to their benefit. What did it get out of it? That you, this is reliable, clever, educated and balanced, but it's upside down. They didn't, um, they didn't look at the small print. They didn't look at the fine print in any way, shape or form. They just wanted to win. But I'm getting it's the, the mother or the mature woman just wanted to win. So what is this? Have they freed the gin? Have they freed this gin? They freed it. Justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favour. Don't give up. Okay, so something else is going on in the, the justice system. I'm getting... Um, is it money? Housing. Housing. Something to do with housing. Um, I never saw that before. Oh my gosh, that's so flipping freaky. In the background of this picture... So you've got an angel, right? And he's holding the two... Um, it's Archangel Raguel. And he's holding the two scales i'll show you but in between his wings there's a dude's face with no eyes what the flip is that about it's right there i'm going to bring it up a bit closer so you can see it can you see that just between the wings there's that that weird looking hokey see poker see no eyes dude what is that about i've never seen that before They were using this energy to get, was it legal disclaimers, legal something? Is this somebody who was stealing content or stealing like creative um, something, doing something fraudulently? Yes. And they were using whatever was in that box to get things to go in their favour. But now this thing's coming out of the box. So they had to keep control of it in some way and they were using that to make a special recipe for this love spell for either you or someone in the collective but because you healed all the things that you needed to it didn't work and now the pandora's box is open flipping how now the band now the pandora's box is open they no longer have control of a gin they no longer have control of whatever it is that was in there and justice is now going to be served jesus mm -mm -mm. yeah look you've got archangel chamuel in reverse this is solar plexus. This is solar plexus energy, all tied up. Oh, this gin is bound to this woman or bound to this other person, the son, or has bound to someone's child. Because the solar plexus is about the inner child, the inner teen, right? And then you've got the son here of Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and ins inspiring success. They were supposed to bind to you or they were supposed to do something to you. Because if they can't, if they can't, I don't know what they get in, in what do they get in, um, what's the word? Almost like if you scratch my back, then you have to, if I scratch your back, you have to scratch mine. What did they get in return for doing all of this stuff? The sun is coming out. What energy? Or they got energy or food or something but i feel like with this pandora's box going opening it's something to do with children they're opening up something to do with children or it's got bound to children or there's many children involved mm -mm. Mm -mm. passion in reverse and we've also got here adjustments are required upside down why are adjustments not required why are adjustments not required why are they not required? Masks is, is there. And daughter romance. And naked before the stars. Because I feel like part of what's being let out of Pandora's box is not just this weird genie. It's not just this, you know, this person from your past realising that they actually want to have 
a proper adult relationship where they are not just running from pillar to post. It's not just all the stuff that's happening to this mature woman. And I feel like it's the ex more than it is a mother. They're also being shown as being fake. There's something they may do together as a brand. The sun has come out again. Wow, the sun is shining on them and not in the way they wanted. Not in the way they wanted. Because maybe before the stars being upside down, this is illusion. There's a lot of illusion magic that they were doing. And now that that Pandora's box is literally open and they do not have control of that gin or they cannot make their three wishes or vrai tete, none of their spell work is working. And not only is it not working, people are, I'm seeing like um, shields over someone's eyes and they're being removed. So it could be like viewers, people that are watching this. It's reminding me of Fahrenheit um, 451 when um, the guy who starts, you know, keeping all of these books, if you haven't read that book, it's such a good book. Um, I think it's George Orwell, isn't it? Um, I can't remember, correct me if I'm wrong. He starts hiding these books, he's a firefighter, he's supposed to be burning the books, not keeping them, and he's just, he can't stand his wife. He literally cannot stand his wife because all she does all day is watch TV, but not just TV, that screen has a tv that screen has a tv that screen has a tv and she keeps bugging him because she wants him to buy that screen so the entire room is just a tv and she's talking to her friends and talking and she's constantly just locked in watching all this crap on tv and not reading anything and it's giving me that energy that whatever this illusion energy is they weren't just using it on say you or on someone in the collective they were using it on many people who still had wounds so we're easily sucked in. There's something they do online and they may do something very similar to you or they may, they, if you have an online platform, for example, whatever your online platform uh, talks about the topic is, they do the same thing. They do the same thing. And it's because they've been watching someone and they have been taking notes and then going over and using it as if it was their own. I'm so thirsty, it's been an hour of reading. Oh, me and my, part of the, is hit in the fan is people no longer being enchanted or having their eyes um it's like they had those shields and they've been removed they no longer can penetrate them in their eyes that sounds awful but you know what i mean um they know yeah these people are going to be unprogrammed in some way and they're gonna it's kind of like shaking out of it going why are you talking shit what are you talking about my gosh, why have I been following this person? Why am I watching this? It's, you know, car crash TV or whatever. And you've got daughter romance, masks and son. And this, this person is going to be outed as being a fake, their brand being a fake or being inauthentic or something that they have been doing in the dark, coming to light in the justice system that they've been stealing someone's content, their music. This has come up many times before. This is coming, this is coming forward very, very soon, you know, very, very soon. Now that sun, why is this giving me like spotlights? It's the, it's the type of um, attention they don't want. It's the type of attention they don't want, but they're going to get it either way. They're going to get it either way. Because you've got here purification to resurrect the secrets of resulting from the power of. Someone's about to spill the tea. And they're going to have to show the receipts that that isn't true. And they're not going to be able to do so. They're not going to be able to do so in any way, shape or form. Because mm, they may have been talking ish about someone here as well. Adjustments are required in reverse. Cornucopia. Hold your vision. And guilty regret in reverse. This is amazing. Because this is all to do with the illusion magic, this glamour magic, this mental magic of trying to get someone to feel in themselves, but in the kind of volatile energies within our shadow of shame of guilt of worry of people pleasing of you know backing down rather than speaking up all of those types of energies and someone's healed this and because you've healed you've healed it all of this good juju is coming towards you and it's coming towards you really really quickly and their their shit is about to hit the fan excuse my language so hold your vision you guys adjustments are not required for you to have cornucopia to have this beautiful stuff coming in because you're doing such a great job you're doing such a good great great job look i can't make that up jupiter's underneath granting of blessings from and good fortune i'm going to leave it on that note go you guys seriously 
If that resonated for you and you are new to my channel and you'd like what you heard and would like to see more, and when I post, I would love you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of all this lovely content. If you are a returning subscriber, some family, hearts, kisses, I love you guys. Stay awesome. Anyone that would like to um, donate to the GoFundMe that I've got down below is for an animal rescue centre in Sri Lanka. It's the only one in the East Coast and they work mainly with street animals, so street dogs and street cats. The lady who runs it, her name is uh, Connie Horchen, she's German. Um, she has just dedicated her entire life to doing this and she's a beautiful soul. She's very, very, very overworked. Um, to the point of having IVs, like IV vitamin injections and stuff, but um, this is her life purpose and without donations like us, they can't stay open. Um, and that's not me guilt tripping you in any way, shape or form. If you would like to just share the GoFundMe, even better, it means we can get that, you know, we can get the awareness out to as many people as possible and widen that kind of scope of how many people are aware of what's going on. Um, if you'd like to do that, please have a look down below. We have surpassed our goal by thousands and thousands and thousands. The goal was to raise £400 and we have raised £10,000. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not speechless because I'm still talking, but I am I'm very humbled by your generosity anyone that would like to add to this because we haven't we haven't told connie um about all of the rest of it five grand was sent then another three grand's been sent so there's another two grand that's waiting in the ethers to come over and be sent it's just happy little surprises for her it means and oh i'm going to put up an update now just after i finish um uh, what do you call it filming this of um where this money's going because she sent loads and loads of videos and um photographs as well if you'd like to be part of this just have a look down below after if you go past where i have all of the um clearing transmissions and links for that underneath that there is the link for the gofundme for locus dogs and cats care rescue underneath that you will find a, a facebook page of theirs and you will find also um a website of theirs so have a look at that if you wish share it share it share it and please know that my readings are closed at the moment i am not doing any readings for the for, for, for the foreseeable future for a while i just need to rest and chill a little bit if you email me you will not get a response and i i apologize i'm sorry i'm not sorry i'm taking time for myself um and there's only one me so if everybody is messaging me and then getting vexed that i'm not answering i need to chill um when i do open up my readings again i will let you guys know and if you have been emailing me if you just send me a prompt email on the day that i open them it will put your email back to the top but just know that because I'm not doing readings, if anyone reaches out pretending to be me, you're going to know that they're fake because I'm not offering readings. Just block and report them. Anyone else pretending to have made 37,000 or 90,000 euros in one week and they can buy houses and move to the Bahamas, praise Jesus, there's a scam. And all the answers are from the same person with fake profiles. Just block and report. I love you guys. I've been talking for so long. I need a glass of water. Um, have an awesome day, afternoon, evening, or night, everyone in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome and baby. Yep. Oh my god.